Hi, welcome to this review of some older Flex Armor roofs. We get asked all the time through social media at RV shows, how well does this hold up? What happens in five years? What happens in 10 years? So we've gotten together some visits from some people who come by wanting different things done to their roofs. This customer, this roof was done about 10 years ago in Green Cove Springs. Um, gentleman doesn't get on his roof anymore, getting ready to sell it, asked us if we would give it a quick cleanup and inspect it. So here we are pressure washing it with a small electric pressure washer, no soap, no heat, no special cleaners, and just getting it cleaned up and spruced up for him some before he put it on the market. As you see, it cleans up pretty well. Um, so that was just using the pressure washer straight up, no scrubbing, no bleach. This camper was done almost at the very beginning, about 17 years old now. Um, for the last five years it has sat out in the person's yard next to the trees. Um, nobody's used the camper or moved the camper and he was getting some things done to it and getting it ready to sell. So we brought it by for some inspection and have us clean it up. We actually ended up refreshing his top coat in the end. Here we are checking out the skylight, uh, making sure things are still bonded. A little bit more cleaning on that one. Like I say, there's no soap. This isn't high heat, high pressure, little inexpensive electric pressure washer. It doesn't take much to get them to clean up. So we were getting this one ready to actually just give it a whole new coat of paint. He did have an original formula, but this is what five years of not doing anything with it. This customer, second owner, this roof was about six years old and the new owners had swapped out ACs and just wanted it checked out, make sure everything was good. So um, that AC ch changing, it could be done without damaging the roof, but being the second owners, they just wanted to make sure everything was good. So we took a look. As you can see, it's still nice and shiny, bonded well, no signs of shrinkage or change from the UV. That's a common one we hear um, a lot. Sometimes these roofs are reviewed by non-flex armor people and they um, see some like irregular cut lines and, and describe it as shrinkage. It is not shrinkage, it was just an original cut line that was done crooked. Um, we try to avoid, but it does happen. So as you can see here, six years, no changes in the roof line or shape, no signs of pulling away. This camper at some point did have a uh, TV antenna swapped. Um, as you can see, when we resprayed it, it's totally bonded together. Even though there's that lip that's actually back one piece, you cannot separate it. It won't separate with time. Um, sometimes we can minimize that look. And once again, we're checking out the edges on this. Like I said, you can see there's no signs of it pulling away, changing. It still adhered like it was the day that it left. And this one, I said, it's right at six years old now. And anybody that owns a Flex Armor or buys a camper with a Flex Armor is more than welcome to do like these people and bring it by. This camper, I'm not sure the age. Um, I'm not even sure what was here. I found the video, but it is a roof that was done once again at Green Coast Springs. Customer came in for something. Um, most likely, usually people have swapped out TV antennas or such. Um, so he probably was having something resprayed in. But as you can see, it's all adhered covers nice and I said no signs of any cracking or deterioration so if you're ready to get a new roof we have locations across the country and you can join all these people you see here on this map who are happy flex armor customers so when you get a chance go to the website rvroof.com and find you an applicator near you and y'all have a great day